freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are well. I do appreciate your viewership. Thank you very much, I do, I really do appreciate it. And thank you for the views on the last few videos of me uh, Scotland trip up and back down again to Wales. Um, we've got a decent amount of views on them, so thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've gained a lot of subscribers from those videos as well. My name is Luke, I'm a HTV driver. I drive class one vehicle. DAF XF and I literally travel all over the UK delivering all sorts of products anything if it's on it's gone as we say <laughs> anyway this morning we are loaded with timber uh, we're on the flatbed as well today I love the flatbed work I love it it's so much easier and quicker and I just prefer it overall uh, but we're loaded with timber we're on our way to a company in Wrexham um, called James Jones Palleting so um we're actually just about to approach Wrexham now, the industrial estate. And um, the timber that we have on board, I didn't really realise or think about it until literally on the way up. The timber I'm delivering is literally being turned into the pallets. And I never really thought about that <laughs> until just now. It sounds weird, but it's true. I, I will show you the load once we get there. Uh, once we get out, we've got to unstrap it all anyway, so I will show you the load. It's a load that we got loaded from Friday before moving to our new yard. We are now in the new yard and uh, I might show you that later on today as well, actually. Um, we will see. But yeah, no, thank you very much for all the views recently. Uh, we've done, done very well on the videos, so I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Don't forget to follow me on um, the Facebook page, Instagram page. I also do a couple of TikTok videos as well. Um, so throughout this video, you'll probably see little pop-ups um, just showing you or reminding you to, uh, to go and give those channels a like as well, those social media channels. But yeah, let's uh, crack on to where we're going. We're only a mile and a half away, just over. So uh, we're not too far away at all now. We're actually in the industrial estate itself, where we go past a couple of places that we get loaded from. In fact, it may, it may yeah, well, no, it may change. We, um, we are supposed to be loading later from one or two places. All I, all I was told over the weekend is that we'd be collecting to go to Staines which is what I'd done a couple of weeks ago. And it's either rebar from a place in Birkenhead or metal mesh um, from a place in, I think it's Bootle, they say it, pronounce it, might be wrong, I don't know. Um, so I think it's one of those two places. Uh, we'll have to see when the boss says what we're doing from here, uh, which one of those places it is. I, if I had to pick which one I'd rather, I would rather say it was the mesh from Bootle. <laughs> yeah, they're a little bit quicker to load, I think, and um, yeah, just nicer place. But we'll go to either one, doesn't really matter. So, if we go over this roundabout, on the left we got hydro aluminium. We get loaded from there every now and then as well with aluminium bars. Just this place here on the left, we go in there, and then uh, once we get our turn, we come out onto this road and turn left into this one. But we're not going there today. Not going there today. We're going to uh, James Jones Palleting Limited. Okay, we're going to take a right-hand turn here. Clear on the left. It is clear on the right because that van's turning right. Lovely. As you may be able to tell, it does look rather frosty outside. And that is because it is minus three degrees. When I left the yard this morning, it was minus five degrees. So it has got a little bit cooler, um, but yeah, it's still it's still pretty chilly. We, um, hopefully the straps aren't frozen. <laughs> There's nothing worse than doing up frozen straps. We should be okay. 
I hope. Hopefully there's no other trucks coming out. I've never had it where there has been. Fingers crossed. And are there any trucks queuing up to get in? Because I have no idea what we'd have to do if there were more than two trucks. Nah, I think we look good. We're looking gravy, baby. These are still going left. I know there's on the sign it says turn right, but on the left is where we're going. We've got to wait by this traffic light. They're doing a lot of construction around here. There we go. Long days, long delays expected. But we just wait here and uh, we can get the straps off while we wait. So we're going to go and do that now. Let's put the old Ivers on. Ugh. And I'll, um, I'll show you the load as well, look. So you can see exactly what we got on. I do like to show the load if I can. It's a lot easier when it's on a flatbed as well, so. Yeah, right, let's turn the engine off. Let's go outside. Okay, there she is, truck and load. The brakes are a little bit hot, you can hear them. You can hear them. <laughs> Truth be told, I can smell them as well. <laughs> Some hills coming down here. Try and use the engine brake as much as you can, but it's inevitable they're gonna get hot a little bit. Anyway, look how cold it is, look how cold that car is. Anyway, this is the load, so I'm gonna start undoing it all now, and then we can get unloaded. Just to give you an example, look. It's cold out. It is cold, anyway. Let's undo all these straps. There we go, straps undone. Now we've got to put all the ratchets away and then do the straps up. And there we go, unstrapped. So now we're going to uh, sit in the truck, just wait for the lights to turn green, and then we can crack on. Right, we are empty. Got a spin round in here. Lift the mid lift axle up. Now we're empty. Spin it round. Lovely. And we can go straight out, we don't have to wait for the light to turn green, which is good. Go around here. So yeah, we're, um, we're going to head towards Birkenhead now. Birkenhead is where we've got to get loaded. Um, so it's going to be like really long bars of rebar. That's what we're gonna go and get loaded with. And apparently it's going to slough. Slough now, not stains. So um, yeah, I was expecting it to be stains, <laughs> but it's actually slough. Never mind. Right, I'm just gonna stop here. Just gotta do one thing, just check my cables, because it was a tight jackknife turn. It's always a good idea just to check your cables are actually still on, which they are.
lovely. Right. Let's get going. Yeah, the um, Suzy's are still on correctly, but there was one which just was just sort of like slightly tangled up in one of the other Suzy's. So just undo it. At least then there's nothing holding it, do you know what I mean? So it's more free to move. So that's okie dokie. So we take a right hand turn out of their yard. It's clear to the right. Is it clear to the left? I can't quite see. Yep, it's all clear. Out we go. So yeah, we're going to be at Birkenhead in just under an hour's time. So uh, we'll crack on there, we'll get loaded. And this particular trailer has side posts on, so when we get there, we'll probably put the side posts, well, we'll get loaded first, then we'll put the side posts on. Because um, the rebar itself will be like longer than the trailer. Uh, there, there will be an overhang as well. So we put the side posts on so that it can't fall off basically on the sides and then you can just put slightly less amount of straps on because uh, you only need downward pressure because the uh, the posts are the side um, protection so that's what we do so i will crack on i'll see you when we get to birkenhead see you in a bit okay this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by malcolm green I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, you join me in Birkenhead. Now, we do have to be careful here because I'm not allowed to film on site. Um, I've been here before and I, and I made a video and I stupidly called the title something ridiculous. Uh, I'm not going to go into details. Um, it's a bit of a, it was a bit of a tongue-in-cheek title. Didn't mean any offence or harm or anything like that. But the company saw it, they didn't like it, understandably. And uh, long story short, I got banned. They banned me from the place. Now this is quite a while ago. It's got to be like six months to 12 months ago, something like that quite a while um, <laughs> but they banned me uh, understandably so we are going to the place on that I'm banned now I have actually been here last week and they did load me so I'm hoping they load me again today um, but I've got to keep my head down understandably so I won't be filming inside their premises it's only it's only right so you won't be able to see me getting loaded but what I do is I will try to stop somewhere and show you the load on the way down. Uh, there's plenty of services on the way down, so I will pop in somewhere and uh, show you what we got on. It's not going to stains though, like I thought. It's going to slough, as I mentioned earlier, uh, but it is a delivery for tomorrow, so we will be going back to the new yard today. So I'll also get to show you the new yard, where we're now based. It's much, much better than uh, where we were before. Don't get me wrong, I love the place where we were. Um, well, I love the people let's say the guys there were really nice got on well with them all but the yard itself wasn't the best it was nice because it was close to home because i only lived a couple of miles away uh, it literally took me five minutes to get into into work now it takes me about 20 minutes so it's a bit longer for me to get to work but hey ho can't answer that so yeah we're um we're going to get loaded from this place it's only around the corner so i'm now going to turn the cameras off and i will see you once we are loaded see you in a bit Okay, you're joining me now after we are loaded. We um, we weren't there for too long, but we were there long enough to get a break in whilst we were waiting to be loaded. And then, um, obviously, once we were loaded, we were outside the truck putting timbers on and we were on other work. But, yeah, we managed to get a break in. So the time has been reset. We can crack on all the way down now back to back to our yard basically because this is the delivery for tomorrow morning so we should be back in our yard for about three o'clock very early finish very early finish um yeah it's scheduled for tomorrow so it's gonna we wouldn't get there before four o'clock today anyway so i don't think we will no we wouldn't so um yeah it's gonna be delivered for tomorrow morning it does mean it's gonna be a relatively early start again tomorrow like four ish maybe five ish i don't know maybe yeah maybe five ish but um I am going to want to stop somewhere on the way down. It's a good sort of three hour, three and a half hour drive. 
I had nothing to eat, no breakfast, no lunch, so I am going to stop some on the way down. There's no rush. We, like I said, we're just going back to the yard now. Uh, even if we stop for an hour, we still be in the yard for about four o'clock, so <laughs> absolutely no rush whatsoever. What is this red car doing? Are you trying to get back out? No. I thought we were trying to spin around them. So, uh, yeah, we will take it nice and steady back. Uh, stop and get something to eat on the way down. Maybe even have another break. I will show you the load as well once we stopped. Um, it's a little bit wider than I thought it was going to be, so we couldn't get the posts in. Uh, I was saying earlier that there's posts that go on the trailer, uh, which gives you side protection. I couldn't get them in, so um, I've had to just basically use straps, ratchet straps. So there's f that I got 19 bundles. There's 10 bundles on the back, nine bundles on the front, and I've used five straps for each uh, sort of, how would you word it? segment <laughs> there's a front segment and a back segment i've got i've used five straps per one they're five ton straps so what's that 25 ton each like each segment it can hold 5 10 15 20 25 10 15 20. yeah 25 so the five straps per segment 25 ton i don't weigh 50 tons <laughs> Do you know what i mean um so we should be absolutely fine and within the within the legal limits um but yeah it's all good it's all gravy baby we're gonna head back to the yard like i said I'll show you the new yard when we get there. It's nothing special, but um, it is new. And uh, yeah, very nice uh, compared to the dirty sawmill. Do you know what I mean? Where it's all, I don't know, it's like bark, but rotten bark on the floor sometimes and mushy. And the, the, the things that we had to do, like if we had to, if I had to drop this trailer and pick up another trailer, the, the trailer I would have needed would have been out of the way. Um, so I would have had to get the trailer that is out of the way and put this trailer out of the way. So what I would have ended up having to do is drop this trailer somewhere, random, then pick up the trailer that's out the way, move that somewhere, anywhere, random, drop the trailer, hitch back up to this trailer, move it back to where the random place is, drop the trailer, then hitch back up to the other trailer that I want, and then I can start loading. <laughs> so it's a faff. Uh, whereas at this new yard, if we, if we ever need to do a trailer swap, it's a, just a case of reverse into a space, drop the trailer, move over to the next one, get the trailer, and go. <laughs> it's so much easier. And I'm looking forward to doing trailer swaps. Whenever we had to do a trailer swap, oh, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare having to do trailer swaps in the sawmill, but we're not there anymore, so. It's all gravy, baby. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I shall see you in a little while when we stop um, at services. I don't know which one yet, we're gonna stop that. Probably just stop at the next services to be fair get something to eat and then um yeah crack on so i'll see you in a bit okay here we go this is zivri bar so we got five straps on each segment so one two three four five then the next segment one two three four five i did say earlier that um there'd be an overhang but there isn't actually an overhang on this so one less thing to worry about as you can see no overhang whatsoever and yeah we just walked down this side so all the straps lovely jubbly anyway that's the trailer like i said we're gonna uh, go get something to eat now so i'll see you in a bit okay you join me about three hours and 45 minutes after we left where we just got loaded in birkenhead it's been a bit of a drive back down we did stop and have something to eat on the way down but we didn't stop for long we just wanted to crack on so uh time is quarter past three in the afternoon we're going to start indicating left we're coming off at this junction this is the honda junction so honda obviously were based in swindon they've left now um, but this is what we call the honda junction locals anyway primarily because honda is like the first thing on the sign there <laughs> but i suppose now you're just gonna have to call it the stratton junction come on down here oh we've got a little bit of a little bit of a bridge here so i think we need to do uh it's first time i've done this <laughs> i'm such a child i'm gonna blast my horn going under it <laughs> oh, so funny I was such a child. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, the only problem with this road... By the way, the car's here. There's a garage here on the left. For years, they've just been left still. The, the amount of dust on it 
I wonder what's what's happening to it. I don't know, but it's just that particular garage is just nothing's ever done with it. This particular road can get very very busy, particularly around five o'clock. Um, you could be sat in traffic for a long time. Got to give way to vehicles on the right. Cars are coming from straight over, and then the other thing is there's an Audi here on the right hand side, and you tend to get cars queuing up to turn right. So you tend to get a back tail of, of vehicles down this way, like, like this car here wants to turn right, and then they sometimes struggle to turn right because vehicles on the other side obviously won't let them through. So yeah, this particular road can get very busy indeed. So it's a shared yard. Uh, it's the Stockyard D from Howard Tennant's, where our new yard is. There's loads of other companies in there as well. But what is unique about us is we have our own unit. I wonder if Harry and Sons are going to be put on here, next to Swindon Trailers, because we are next door to them. <laughs> the only problem is waiting for trucks to go in, it can be, sometimes be a queue. I had it the other day where um, there was a foreigner and uh, he didn't know what to do and he ended up reversing back out. There's yellow, match, yellow hatch markings here so we can't go, the car park's on the left. So if we do go and follow the lorry straight away, we'll be blocking the car park. Let's see if this gate opens automatically. Doesn't look like it's going to open. Someone is here. One of my colleagues is here because one of the doors are open. Might even be the boss, I'm not sure. But yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few companies in here. It's a bit like a, um, almost like a truck stop in a way. There's lights all around it as well to light it up. But we have our own unit down here. Yeah, it is the boss. So we just park up here on the left. I'm going to assume his van is in the way. No. All right. Right, in there we go. It's going to be a bit snug. Working, he's working on a tyre down here and there's uh, some stuff either side so we've just got to be a bit careful going in There we go. It's just like sort of getting used to where, where to park, how to get in. If there's one truck I don't want to hit, it's that truck. It's the, uh, it's the smart looking one. Anyway, um, that's it. We're going to park up and I will probably see you in the morning. Or I might film a little bit outside in a second to show you around. I'm not sure. Either way, I'll see you in a bit. I'll tell you one of the things I like most is we don't have to wear eyes. Is. Um, it was like mandatory to wear high vis in the other yard. Um, so yeah, haven't got to worry about that. There we go, that's where we're parking up now. There. Lovely jubbly. And then it's just a short walk to the car park, which was uh, on our left as we come on in. Here's the main gate. Just a nice little short walk. No more than what we used to do anyway. And uh, yeah, car park. And there she is. Yeah, so I parked the furthest away. Also, slightly 
over this line because that's not a parking space to give me more room. Do you like the black carbon fibre scoop on it? Some might, some might not. Needs a wash, I know that. So yeah, that's uh, the new yard. It's quite nice, all hard standing ground. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now and I will see you in the morning. See you in a bit. Morning, everyone. It's the next day. We're just walking back to the truck now. We parked our car in the car park. <sighs> Minus five. So by the time we get in the truck, warm up and we get going, should be there for about half past seven, I think, maybe just after. Uh, the boss said don't get there too early if it's frosty. <sighs> it's a bit frosty. <laughs> so this is what I was saying yesterday, right? It's pitch black. Six o'clock at night, pitch black. Look how lit up it is. So much better. Did I leave my poppies on? I think I accidentally, yeah. Accidentally left my poppies on. Oops. I should normally turn them off. Anyway, we're gonna start doing our checks now. And then, uh, then we can crack on. Right, we are just around the corner now from where we need to be. Just gotta drive up this road. Normally, uh, well, in the past, stay there. In the past, I've come from the other direction, which involves having to spin round at a roundabout, full, a full 180 degree turn, um, to go the face the other way, and then you have to go up and basically turn left um, up this sort of tight road, because you can't make the right hand turn, which is why you need to go to the roundabout, spin round and come back on yourself. Um, it's, it's, not a sort, it's not a small roundabout, it's pretty big, but um, when you've got a trailer on, by the time you do a four turn, it starts to turn in on itself a little bit, so it's a little bit snug, uh, but it is manageable. But on the way out, you come out this way, so after two or three times of coming out this way, I've decided, why don't I go in this way? So this is the way we're going in. We don't have to spin round at the roundabout now. Um, and then, yeah, just make the left turn, bare left. You'll see in a second when we get there. You'll see what I mean. But if coming from the other direction, you um, you can't make the right-hand turn. Not only can you not make the right-hand turn, there's signs up that says you're not allowed to make a right-hand turn, even for cars and, and motorbikes. So, um, yeah, it's one of them. Um, but yeah, we'll get this off. Uh, we've got 19 packs of rebar on. I'm going to assume it's craned off. I might be wrong. But if it is craned off, hopefully they do two or three bundles at a time to, just to try and save a bit of time. <laughs> but we'll have to see that. And see, see when they've done that. I might, I might see if I can get um, some footage of them taking it off as well. So we'll see what we can do there. And also this way in appears to be much much quieter than the other side of where we're going which appears to be going into town centre yeah do you want to stay on your side mate <laughs> got no lights on either it's only got his daytime running lights on so there's no lights on the back all clear push bikes have no lights on as well look and the children as well with no lights on you went for a red light. Amber flashing, let's go. Is that a crane? Is that a little baby crane. Yeah, so this is the roundabout that we would normally have to spin round on. Like I said, it's not a small roundabout. It's pretty decent sized. You can definitely turn around on in an Arctic. Uh, but by the time you make the complete manoeuvre, your trailer starts to come in a little bit. So you've got to take it really wide to stand a chance of getting round. It's all clear. Oh no, this lorry here is going to the same place I'm going to. <laughs> Just beat him. <laughs> right, this is the left turn. We can't make the right hand turn from straight on. That lorry is definitely coming or going where I'm going. He's going to be fuming that I've just turned up just before him. <laughs> by a matter of about a minute by the time he spins around. 
he'll be fuming. That is the industry sometimes. You can be held up for one minute somewhere and turn up one minute after a lorry and uh, you've got to wait for that lorry to be unloaded and then you could be waiting for an hour. That one minute could cost you one hour easily. And a lot of people don't understand that. We get a lot of hate for overtaking other vehicles, other trucks on dual carriageways, only one mile an hour faster. I'm like, yeah, it is. It is a little bit annoying, I must admit. And sometimes you wish the other truck would just slow down and let you pass. But you've got no lights on, mate. But if you didn't do that overtake and you were stuck behind that lorry, it's all right saying, oh, you're only stuck behind for 10, 10 seconds or whatever. But no, that could actually cost you an hour down the road. People don't realize that. Okay, it's all clear. And we're delivering to high 10. It's not the biggest of yards either. Been here two or three times now. If there's other trucks in here, it can be a bit snug. And there we go, straps are off. What have I just stood on? A bit of plastic. Huh. Straps are off, we're on the way bridge. We've just got to wait now for someone to come over and start taking it all off for us. There we go. What they do is that yellow thing there, they bring that over and they lift them all up. Uh, someone will come over, they walk up these steps, like I'm doing now, and then they jump on the bed, use that crane to offload it all. So yeah, lovely. There she is from the front. We have to climb across the passenger seat to get out because um, you can't open the door without hitting the rebar on this side. Um, opens a bit, but yeah, I can't fit through it. <laughs> so yeah, no one's come over to me yet. So we just, just sit tight back in the truck and then wait for the crane up there moving. So yeah, we just uh, just wait for someone to do it. Like I said, someone else unloads us. We just sit around and wait, so. Yeet! Okay, that's the first ones coming off. As you might be able to see, that is more than one bundle. So hopefully it's not gonna to take too long to get the rest of them off. So that's the machine now going back over to pick up another load. And if you look on this side of the mirror, you'll see uh, a gentleman momentarily jump onto the trailer. There we go, he's jumping on and they'll, uh, they'll offload another one. There we go, that's the next one going. Off to its new home. Right, we're nearly done. We're just on the bed now. One more lift to come off. So I'm just getting all the timbers together. And then um, we can put them down nicely. He's thrown them down, the guy who's offloading me. <laughs> I will place them down nicely. Because I'm kind like that. I've got the rest of them. It's a long one. That's what she said. Okay, right, that's one coming off. Alright, that's the... Uh the wood that we put away, bit tidier. And uh, that's on its way now to go and uh, be put away. Let's go in the truck. Right, we are tipped. Let's put my shoes back on, my boots. Put my gloves down here. Yeah, I can only open the door that far. <laughs> Ain't far enough for me to get out. That's for sure. Uh, hard hat can come off. Lovely. High vis off. Booyakasha. Seatbelt on. Phone put away. Oh, we need to go on charge. Let's put my phone on charge. There we go. 
Cool, right, we can now head on out of here. Mid lift axle up. Reverse straight off. We're clear, we can start turning. Lovely. Oh, before we do go, paperwork, I need to put that away. Don't forget the paperwork. Uh, my pen that they use to sign it can go there. Right, we're done. Say goodbye. Lovely. So yeah, we're, uh, we're now done. We, uh, now we have to head back to Tetbury and uh, I need to get reloaded for another day's work for tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to get it delivered today, but it doesn't matter anyway. You're not going to see it in this video because uh, this is the end. But I'm going to wait until we get out of the main, uh, or out onto the main road, I should say. Just turn left down here. One car coming. Again, only got your daytime running lights on. you got no back lights on. No, nope. it's foggy out and there's no lights on. They look like main lights, but you're not slowing down. No, nope. no lights on either. <laughs> I can't even want to slow down. Yeah, there's, a, there's an awful lot of vehicles out there in really foggy conditions. I don't know if the GoPro picks up very well, but it is proper foggy. You can't see more than 200 yards. Uh, and there's lots of vehicles out there with no lights on. It's, uh, it's not good. I would have lights on. More than just your daytime running lights. Actual proper lights. Are they real lights? I think they are. Yeah, red lights are on in the back. At least some do it. At least some. So yeah, so my sat nav is saying they're daytime running lights. Yeah, no back lights on there. Sat nav says, um, go out of here, spin around and around about and come back on myself. Um, but I'm just going to go straight out. It's easier. Is it clear behind? No, there's a car coming. Lovely. Now it's clear. It's a proper bit of a blind turn. Um, luckily, I've got wide angle mirror lenses so I can see if anything's coming. Someone's hit that uh, traffic light. <laughs> So is it. Anyway, yeah, so we're, um, we're going to crack on to Tetbury, but that is going to be the end of today's video. So I do really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And as I said at the start of this video, which was actually yesterday for me, a uh, big thank you to all the new subscribers that have uh, joined up. Hopefully you've watched to the end. Do appreciate it if you have. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Put your hazard, not your hazard, put your lights on. Daytime lights. Daytime lights in front. Look, no red lights on the black car. Winds me up. It does wind me up. Stay, drive safe. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. No lights. No lights. Daytime running lights. Daytime running lights. Daytime running lights. Which means you've got no lights on the back. No lights on the back. Other than your brake lights. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to have a rage. Right. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Drive safe. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye bye. You've got your daytime running lights on. No red lights, see? It's foggy out. Put your lights on.